Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Aptex OS-12C. This is a safety beam control box is what it is. This control box is meant, of course, to control your sensor heads, your uh, transmitter, emitter uh, sensor heads. And this Optech system is meant to be the safety beam that will occur within the jam space of, you know, any automatic door, really. Sliding automatic doors, obviously, swinging would work as well. Um, and this is the replacement control box. It's incomplete. It does not have its, uh, its beam package with it. You can order those. That would be a OS-12. I'll pull up that part number when we switch to the screen view. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the dimensional properties of this item, just to put a scale to it. About 3 and 5 eighths overall length. Overall depth, about inch and 3 quarter. Overall height, about an inch and 5 eighths. Okay, so this is used in automatic door work, and the balance of the extended description really talks about how to set this. It's very, as as much um, as many different products that as exist that exist in the automatic door world. They're all pretty easy to set in this Optex unit. Is no difference. Uh, what else you're going to get in the package will be a couple of fasteners, installation instructions. These are linked to down below. Let's now switch to the screen view and talk a little bit more about this as you can look at um, the uh, resources that we have as well at the same time. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at some images that we have posted here as well. That's the box. That's the contents of the box. The control box itself. Okay, let's take a look at that label. It shows you where to plug everything in. Uh, you've got one and two, three, four, five, and six on one side. Okay, here are those six terminals, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, power, safety, and test. And then your beams will go on the other side. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Your screws. Then let's flip that around. Okay, so everything that you need is on this label. That's the programming button. The green and red LEDs will indicate to you what's happening uh, in the unit at that moment based on what the installation instructions are saying and we'll get to that in a moment so automatic adjustment for optimum sensitivity pressing the sensitivity adjustment button for one second sets the seven sensitivity to the optimum value self-diagnosis function reports sensor status if the opening led pattern changes so that misalignment of optical axis or dirt on the lens can be corrected before they cause a malfunction Multi-use one beam or two beam amplifier. The smallest two beam capable amplifier in the industry. Okay, now let's take a look at the cut sheet that's here. This will give an overview of the electrical characteristics or profile of the unit. I won't bother to read that to you, but suffice it to say 12 to 24 VAC, 12 to 30 VDC, 160 milliamps max is what we'll, uh, that will handle. You can set this to normally open or normally closed. 
and it will obviously uh, control the behavior of what happens on the beams, and we'll show you that in the installation instructions. There's a product manual that's here. This is These are the installation instructions, uh, in fact. Let's take a look at this document. Um, so on the first page, electrical characteristics, dimensional properties, and they also identify um, all of the com primary components of the unit, which we've covered. The beam or sensor heads are sold separately, but they can be purchased with this. And that part number would be, the part number would be OS-12CT. We can pull that up in our site. That will include Uh, let's take a look. The part number is CST, forgive me, CST. That will include the beam set. There's a video that you can review of that item here as well. So that will be the complete, including the safety beams, which they talk about here, the emitting and receiving versions, the blue and gray. If you were to install those, that section here would cover that. We won't get into it. This is a control box only. Wiring is important in terms of how much wire you expose so that there's not interference. And it talks about how to wire the unit here. Now, you will set the sensitivity on the unit, press the sensitivity teach button, which is the programming button, which is four here, sensitivity teach in or, or learn button. And then when you have a um, solid green and red, the sensitivity has been set correctly, the adjustment is completed. And you'll enter that mode by pressing that button for more than one second. And you're going to have a solid green on when it's been set correctly. The adjustment is completed. If you have alternate blinking, um, you'll need to go through the steps to reset the uh, reset up of the sensitivity that is detailed here in this box. Checking the operation. Um, the normally open or normally closed, you're going to be able to set that um, accordingly. This table here talks about the, the condition of the doors. So in this normally open, when power is off, the doors are closed. When you have it set to normally open. Standby status, no person or object exists between the sensor head. The door is going to be open in that instance when you have it set to normally open. Okay. So normally open may not be, you know, the condition at which you want this to um, exist in because when a person is passing through the beams, those doors would be closed in that same scenario, but in a normally closed setting, those doors would be open. So I would think normally closed is what you're going to want to have. Now there is a more current version of the installation instructions that have shipped with the document. So let's switch uh, with the hardware. Let's switch and take a look at those. And here is that installation instructions. We have a 2008 version and a 2016 version. The 16 version is a little clearer in terms of what the normally open and normally closed will look like um, in your document, uh, in your setting. This is a uh, OCR uh, character error here. This should be showing uh, power failing uh, with the door open. Um, forgive me, that, that is closed. When the power is off and a normally open or normally closed, those doors are going to be closed. 
and then you can see here what the doors will look like depending on how you have that set depending on the condition and there's also a table here that shows how to set the sensitivity on the unit um, active low or high normally open normally close you're gonna get one red blink out of the LED versus two, three, or four that would show the setting that you're dealing with. And a cleaned up version of that is here. Okay, showing those conditions. And then of course, your settings based on the blinking. And that pretty much wraps up the installation instructions as they are, uh, as they stand. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So this is definitely a modern design of sensor in the sense that, in the sense that it will report back to the controller that it's operating correctly on every single cycle, which is a relatively new uh, requirement uh, for sensors, whether it be a jam sensor like the Optex OS12C, 12CST, or overhead sensors, you know, what are, or um, curtain sensors, whatever it might be. They're all communicating back to the controller saying, yep, I'm still good. Um, and that's a way to have better control and management over the opening, bringing to someone's attention earlier rather than later that there's a problem with a sensor, which is a common item to have to have replaced. The client purchasing this sensor is evidence of that. Uh, if you have any questions on the Optex, this is their part number OS-12C, safety beam control box only, or any other Optex product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.